Hey everyone, welcome back to New Content Upside Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about the recurring revenue. So, recurring revenues are the income generated at a particular interval. Typically, we can say that the interval can be monthly or yearly, or we can set or customize the intervals for a product or services um, that is on a subscription base or a contract base. So, Odo CRM helps you to generate the automatic invoices for the recurring revenues. So let's see how can we just manage with the recurring revenue in Odo 70 CRM module. So to manage with the recurring revenue, let's move on to the CRM module and in the configuration settings, we just need to enable the feature called recurring revenue. This defines the recurring plans and revenues on the opportunities. Now we just need to manage the recurring plan. So you can either manage the recurring plans from the configuration settings or under the configuration we can just manage with the recurring plans so recurring plans are nothing but that are the plans that set the period over which the uh, recurring must happen so here you can just provide the name of the uh, plan and the month month that, that to be included in your plan later on we can just move on to the sales and here you would be able to find the pipeline and here let's create a new opportunity in order to create the new opportunity here, you can choose your customer or the contact that is wood corner. And we can see that as we just choose the uh, contact, all other details will be auto populated over here. So the customer is going uh, to choose a service of software maintenance for six months. So for every uh, month, the customer just need to pay a 200 as for the subscription. So here you can see the expected revenue that to be generated from the customer will be 1200 and we can set the priority as high and um, in every month the customer just need to pay uh, 200 uh, to the uh, company side or to the administrator. And here you can set the uh, recurring plan. Later on you can just click on add. So here you can see that the uh, total revenues uh, that is the expected revenues and uh, the monthly uh, recurring revenue over here that is the expected monthly recurring revenue now let's move on uh, to the uh, one that we have created and here you would be able to find the expected revenue and this is the um, recurring revenue and this is the recurring plan and here you would be able to find the probability and all and as this is qualified one we can just move the state from new to qualified and uh, here we can just create a new quotation for this if you want to create the internal notes and all here, you can also set that. So let me choose the uh, internal note over here as software maintenance for six months. So later on, you can save this. So as you just save this, you can create quotation. So let me create quotation. So in order to create the quotation, you can just click on new, where you can see that all other details will be auto populated over here. And under the order lines, you can choose the product. So the product is uh, software maintenance. So if you want to just manage with the recurrence for this product, you just need to ensure that you have enabled recurring for this product. Now, later on, let's back. And here you can see that the unit price of the product is 1200. Here the customer is going to pay monthly a 200 as the price of the product. And here you can also set the recurring plan, which is monthly basis. So we can also set uh, the uh, month over here. So for six months, it will be uh, ending. The subscription will be ending on uh, October 31st. So later on, we can just save this. And as you just click on confirm here, you can see the monthly recurring revenue will be 200. And uh, you can see it has just turned into a sale order. And we can just create the invoice for this. Uh, so if you want to just create the invoice for this, you can create. Uh, or else you can create it later. Now let's move on to the pipeline or the opportunity that we are dealing with. And as in Odo 17, there is a new feature that shows we are in which stage and that is the time spent on each stage. So here you can see that as we just create the sales order here, now the probability has just turned into 97.62. Now let's move on to the uh, stage as proposition and if um, the entire amount is paid by the customer then we can just move the stage from proposition to one stage so this is how we just manage with the recurring revenue in odo 17 crm module so based on the recurring plan set in odo crm 
Odoo automatically generates the invoices for the designated customer at the designated interval. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the recurring revenue in Odoo's MDM CRM module. So if you want auto customizations or auto tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprus. As always, cheers and thank you for watching the video.